Okay, so I'm going to start off. So, hey, good. Ready to go. Hello there, and welcome to our first episode of the Bullcast podcast, or Bullcast episode. <laughs> my name is Anaya Graham. And my name is Audrey Ward, and we are going to be your hosts for the Bullcast webcast. So today we have a couple things to talk about, but the first thing is a more serious note on our last week's um, run-in with a storm. <laughs> So could you give me a little bit more information on what I'm talking about? <laughs> Certainly. So Hurricane Hian uh, came right through the southwest part of Florida. It affected Fort Myers, Sanibel, Captiva, and about, to this day, 5,000 5, people are still without power in the Tampa Bay area and Sanibel area. Okay, so I do understand that you were in this area when this in this hurricane did come through. So can you give me a little bit of information about how it in affected you? Yeah, so I live on the St. Pete campus and we were in evacuation A zone, mm -hmm. which meant that on that day of September 26th or September 27th, we were all out of the residence halls by then. We had to have a plan to be out of the campus and evacuate. I personally went to south or to West Orlando and was there for the week of the hurricane and thankfully we were safe and were able to return back to campus on October 2nd. Wow, that is crazy. So following the devastation of the storm, USF is hosting a couple of canned food drives in order to give back to those who were affected. So we do have a couple of locations at all three campuses including the Center for Leadership and Civic Engagement in MSC 1300 and MSC Atrium for the Tampa campus. For St. Pete, the Dean of Students Office located in SLC 1300, the Student Outreach Center and Support Office from 8 to 5. Also, you can drop off your supplies at the UPD office after 5 p.m. And then our last location is at the Sarasota Manatee location. Um, in the Office of Student Engagement from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. All right, so then we also, on a more happy more note, happy note right? yeah, we I have agree. a big day for Homecoming Week tomorrow featuring our Homecoming concert. So could you tell me who's going to be performing? So yeah, this is going to be in Tampa campus, the concert, and we have 2 Chain and Ben Riley. These are our two artists, performers for the concert. Uh, born in 1977, College Park, Georgia, 2 Chain released his first album called Based on a True Star, debuting, debuting at number one on the US Billboard 200, according to thefamouspeople.com. It sold 147,000 copies in its first week, and he's been nominated for six, Grammy, six Grammys. Okay, and then Ben Riley, who is the opener, is a rapper, producer, and voice actor. According to Flood Magazine, Riley is a, an emerging rapper from the Abstract Media crew and is best known for his viral hit, Maytag, which has hit number one on Spotify's Viral 50. So at 8 p.m. tomorrow, you can see these artists live at the Euling Center, which is located next to the Tampa campus. And the tickets for students are $10, student guests are 15, alumni are 20, and anybody else in the community who would like to join will be cost at 25. <laughs> and we will close out the USF Homecoming Week on Saturday with our homecoming football game. Student tickets are free and available through Herd Perks, which you would download on your phone and you get a text saying that your tickets are available and you show them on your phone the code to get into Raymond James Stadium. Now let's turn things over to Chris Metzler, our sports reporter, to tell us more about each team. Hi there, I'm Chris Metzler, as you heard. I'm gonna be the sports reporter, hopefully covering football and basketball. So as you heard, this Saturday, October 15th at 4 o'clock, we play our big homecoming game. The Bulls will take on the Tulane Green Wave at home. Due to Hurricane Ian, this will be the Bulls' first home game in over a month. It was the first time in program history they played four straight games on the road. 
They went 0-4 on that road trip, bringing their record to 1-5 for the season. Head coach Jeff Scott, after last week's game against Cincinnati, said it's been a difficult four weeks for everyone. I can't remember a time anyone played four straight weeks on the road, and we did it against three top 20 teams without 14 scholarship players. Despite that, USF did build some momentum, and they hope to build off that momentum from last week when they took the two-time defending American Conference champs down to the wire. The Bulls opened the game with 10 straight points before getting in a back-and-forth affair that saw Cincinnati take the lead for good with nine minutes to go. This week's opponent, Tulane, enters the game 5-1 and on the year and 2-0 and in conference play and coming off a big win over East Carolina last week, led by their highly touted defense. Tulane has only given up 13.33 points per game this season, which ranks 7th in the country. They also rank in the top 15 in total yards given up. So USF's offense will have to be at their very best to put points on the board. Look, at the, look for the Bulls to lean on their 45th ranked rushing attack, led by star sophomore running back Brian Battee and junior transfer quarterback Gary Bohannon. As a reminder, if you haven't already got tickets for the game and still still wish to go, student tickets are available still at Herd Perks. And if you can't make it out to the game and still want to watch and support the team, you can find the game on ESPNU or live streaming on the ESPN app. Go Bulls. Now we're going to go back to Zanaya and Audrey to finish up the show. All right, All right. so we're going to end up talking about midterms coming up so it is midterm week and that is a very important week for all of the students attending all three campuses so a little bit about mental health and wellness we should be keeping up on our mental health and wellness so some resources that we have are the wellness center um, that is on campus and there's more information on the usf website um, could you give me a little bit information um, about being a peer counselor in this time? Yes, so I also am a part of Compass on our St. Pete campus, and we've been doing for the past week a midterm outreach to our list of students. Mm -hmm. This is involved with making sure that how's their experience been with the USF St. Pete so far, and also just how they have felt about their midterms, how they prepped for midterms. And since this was last week, the first week reaching out to them, we also made sure that with them and their family members that they were doing well with the hurricane recovery, if they got affected, if they had to be evacuated, right. and what took place for them if they didn't have power, if they weren't able to come back to campus, or if they aren't able to be at their house right. for uh, safety reasons. Um, this played a lot of factors into certain students that their mental health turned completely on a downfall for that reason and their classes had to come to a halt. Okay, so, uh, sorry <laughs> to okay. interrupt, but okay. what would you, how would somebody like me get the information in finding a peer counselor? Yes, yeah, so, so with the Office of Compass, you can reach out to them and find out how is the best way to fit your needs as a student, as a first year, as a second year, as a third year, as a fourth year student, um, you have a student advocate who can assist you with time management, but you also have someone who you can refer to directly as a student themselves. They are, you can be put into your shoes for the assistance of wanting to know what the resources are and just how to feel comfortable getting back to classes and know that, yes, professors are still recovering, we're still recovering into a normal swing of the semester, and that's something that we're all able to be there for them, for these students. Awesome. So just a little bit more information about some transportation um, concerns. So we were aware that the Bull Runner did um, stop or it, it the name change can you give me some information about that uh, yeah so the bull runner is on Tampa campus mm -hmm. they are running fully but what 
Nothing's been changed on that note. What has been added for St. Pete campus for the first time is now there's going to be a Sunrunner uh, through the PSTA, which is Pinellas Trans the Student System Transportation Association. And for students, they are able to have the ability to move from campus with a stop that's on our campus, right in the corner of the parking garage and Osprey Suites, uh, you have the option to go right directly to St. Pete Beach, as a direct access from the Berg to the beach is their slogan. And students can ride for free with showing their IDs, for student IDs, and you have the access to go right to the beach from campus. Okay, so that is great. So was there anything else that you would like to add as, it, as far as um, the mental health of our students and just making sure that everyone is getting back to a regular um, swing of things following the hurricane? I definitely would say to make sure you are taking care of yourself first. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure you are keeping track of your time, making sure you are looking at what's important for that day. If you are in need of setting two hours aside for homework, or if you need to set two hours aside for studying to make sure you know the material properly, that would be the right time set and time frame to set aside for this coming back to campus atmosphere. Uh, I would also include that utilize your fellow students as uh, resources, utilize your professors for help and assistance for what is expected in that class to get back on track with the flow of assignments and the flow of being in time with the class schedule. Mm -hmm. And especially in this time, it is very important that we're all taking care of ourselves and making sure that we are getting the help that we need when we do have problems academically, um, psychologically, and just in all areas as a community. We are all here to help. And if you need more information and more help, there's all of the information on the USF um, EDU website. Mm -hmm. And was there anything you would like to add? No, nope, that was it for, for that part. Now we are going to introduce our team for the bull cars. Take it on. So hello, is uh, my mic up? Okay, Matt, could you cut to the uh, this camera here? Cut to the camera here, right. Okay, great. Hello, hello, hello everyone. Um, my name is uh, uh, Chris Campbell. I'm the uh, faculty advisor and I'm the hat here. <laughs> Right, okay, so um, we're just gonna go around and everyone's gonna be able to talk and introduce themselves. We all have a microphone, okay? So um, let's start off, I'd like to first introduce the uh, producer, Autumn. So come on over, Autumn. And then we can go around and everyone. Hi, I'm Autumn. I'm the executive producer for The Bold Cast. Um, do you wanna go next? So what about, yeah. well? Yeah, you Matt, you wanna go next? Yeah. Hello everyone, I'm Matthew Lee. I am the technical director for the Boltcast and so happy to be here. And we hope you enjoy the content and we're gonna have a lot of great more content to come. Thank you. All right, hi guys, my name is Jenna Fournier and I'm here with Sophie Macris. And we are both audio operators for the podcast, and we're happy to be here, right? Very happy. All and right. excited. Okay. Yeah. Chris. Yeah, hi, I'm Chris. I'm going to hopefully be covering sports. So I'm looking at doing football and then basketball when it starts later in the uh, semester. And really excited and super passionate about sports, especially those two. So I'm really looking forward to talking more about them with you guys. All right, so you know what, how do the, in terms of mental health and the midterm, how is everyone feeling? Could the rest, everybody else here, talk about maybe how you're doing during the midterms and everything like that. So an open, open for everybody. Yeah, go for it. Okay, um, 
So I've been doing uh, pretty well, I guess, for uh, mental health. And I'm actually, uh, for anyone who doesn't know who's uh, watching this for the first time, a lot of us are mainly journalism students. So I'm actually doing a piece on how physical fitness can benefit mental health. So if anyone is looking for a new solution or a new way to uh, meditate and to just be, you know, clear your mind and whatnot, I would highly recommend exercise, whether it's going for a walk, a run, lifting weights, uh, doing yoga, swimming, whatever the case may be, that's what I recommend doing. Uh, studies have shown that exercise has increased your cognitive function. So if you guys are interested, definitely give it a shot. Chris's microphone, sorry. Hello, everyone. I am Kayla, and I am the social media manager here. So, nice to meet you guys. <laughs> okay. Um, back to uh, closing with the hosts. Any um, closing thoughts? So, right. I think. It has been a pretty great show. Great first episode. <laughs> I agree. It's been great. I'm so excited to see what's going to be in the future, coming months, and what the later years for what evolves to this webcast can be, right? Right. And I would just like to thank everybody in production and everybody behind the scenes. And also you. Thank you. Yes, likewise, Anaya. It's been a pleasure. Yes, it has. And I believe. Okay, and then cut. And.